In this video, we're going to take a look at how to do column breaks in Word. And obviously, if you want to do column breaks, you need to have a multi-column document. And right now, I've just got a one-column document, so I'm going to fix that. Uh, I'm going to go to the Page Layout tab in the Page Setup group, and I'm going to go to Columns here. And I want two columns, but actually, I want a little more than that. So I'm going to go down here and click on More Columns, and click on Two, and click on Line Between. Next, the extra thing that I wanted here, and click on OK. And now I've got a two column document, so now I can play around with column breaks. So, uh, column break says push the existing text to the beginning of a uh, new column. And let's say that uh, I want this paragraph right here that begins with there was nothing. And I want to push that up to the top of this column and have some white space down at the bottom of the first column on this page. So, in order to do that, I need to insert a column break that's on the page layout tab in the page setup group, and it's under breaks and choose column and it pushes the text to the top of a new column and now because uh, let's undo that for a second and because the cursor was to the left of the paragraph mark the paragraph mark also gets pushed to the top of the new column so that's why let's go back and redo that uh, so you notice there's no paragraph mark here anymore the paragraph mark got pushed up here and what I have to do now is I have to go and delete that um, to make it look good and now it looks fine. So uh, that's one way to do a column break. I'm going to undo those changes and go back to where I was before. The other way is to put the cursor here after the paragraph mark but before the beginning of the paragraph and go here and choose breaks and choose column break. And if I do it that way, uh, the, par the column break is after the paragraph mark. So the paragraph mark for this paragraph stays here and column break takes up the whole line by itself down here. It's actually only one character in the Word document and you don't get that paragraph mark up here at the top. So that's probably the best way to do it. And we're going to undo that again and uh, then we're going to change something here. We're going we're to take, uh, we'll go at least this far and we're going to change the alignment on this to justified. Okay. And when you have justified text, um, there's another little problem that you have to worry about when you're dealing with column breaks. So let's, uh, first of all, let's put the cursor to the left of the word there and after the paragraph mark. And let's go to our page layout tab again and go to breaks and let's do a column break and everything looks good. Okay. Uh, this paragraph has its own paragraph mark. Uh, the column break mark is here and there's no extra blank line or, or extra paragraph up there at the top of the doc uh, column two. Now I'm going to undo that and then I'm going to go up here and uh, now I'm before the paragraph mark and if I go and insert a column break here then some funny stuff happens. Okay, uh, What happened is because I put it before the paragraph mark um, it thinks that it still has to justify everything on this line. So you get these humongous spaces in here because it doesn't know that you're at the end of a paragraph because there is no end of paragraph uh, attached to this paragraph anymore. It's after the column break. So you end up with some funny looking text here. And another bad thing here is that there is a column break here, uh, but there's no um, visible indication that it's there. I mean, you can, you can pretty much guess that there's a column break because there's white space down here and uh, the text gets pushed up to here. But uh, if you have justified text, uh, you need to be careful. So let's, uh, let's undo that. And really, the smart way to do this all the time is just to put the cursor at the beginning of the paragraph that you want pushed to the top of the next column. Don't put it at the end of the last paragraph in the previous column. So that's how you do column breaks in Word 2013.